All right, so here's my 85 Buick. Uh, I drove it yesterday and I drove it today, put about 150 miles on it. And uh, the freeze plugs uh, hold beautifully, nothing, no leaking, nothing. But found another small leak on a radiator. So I'm not exactly sure where it's leaking from. I, I can see the wetness here. Um, there's definitely a coolant in there. I was thinking about getting uh, a combo, getting a radiator and, uh, and a heater core. Replace all the hoses so the coolant system is going to be all new. Uh, right now what I'm doing is I'm going to check, uh, check the distributor. I'm going to pull it up, pull it off, uh, see how... Uh, I don't know if this is original or not. Uh, I don't have all the records for this vehicle. I don't know if I want to get a uh, distributor cap or not. You know, I don't want to buy parts that it's really not needed. Since I don't know what previous owner did. Uh, like I said, some work was done to the car, some not. Uh, hoses were definitely replaced. These are not original hoses. As you can see, it says radiator hose. Uh, this is not original GM hose, so uh, both upper and lower, uh, somebody replaced them. Obviously, you know, car is 30 years old almost, so uh, anything rubber, it starts going. Now, this is a small leak, so if I would just buy this uh, leak, stop leak, and put it in the system, it would definitely stop it, but I just flushed the system for, uh, you know, four times. So I just want to keep it clean. I don't want any junk in there. And like I said, if I, if it, worst case, I'm going to replace the uh, the radiator and replace the uh, heater core. I love working on cars like that. Because cars like that I can work on. It doesn't need, I don't need computers, I don't need anything. Not that I, you know, I can work with computers, but. Just working on a Buick. Uh, it's just checking all the bearings and ball joints and lower boys ball joints tie rods everything is great the bearings are beautiful spin very smooth uh, you know rocking the wheel no play in it anywhere so it's only 59,000 miles but I thought I would have to replace uh, replace some of these parts but no everything is uh, Everything's good. I'll show you underneath this car. Here's this stupid uh, Flowmaster uh, that makes all this damn noise. I have to get rid of it. But other than that, as you can see, this thing was sprayed with uh, with this rubber undercoating. So there's just no rot anywhere. Uh, try to scoot in there. I don't know if you can see this in this light. There isn't even any rust on the gas tank. Uh, might be some little surface rust here. I'm gonna treat it. Uh, here's the frame. Well, it's not really a frame. This is car without a frame. Frame is kind of uh, thinner. It's still a frame that it's welded to the body, but it's not a uh, body on the frame like the uh, the big sedans in the 80s. But I'm just trying to show you how uh, all in there. Even the, even the brake lines look. There's not a there's no rust on the brake lines, which usually on a car uh, that is 30 years old. Hope you can see underneath here. There's just uh, nothing, no rust. Not that I can see. The only rust is on this here. This was welded on the. Uh, to hold this uh, muffler so it's just a normal piece of steel and that's the only thing that has rust everything else just looks clean clean as can be uh, you know like I said rocket panels on the knees all nice and clean uh, obviously there's some on the, on the drums of the brake that's just cast iron so they always rusted and there's some rust here on the on this clamp here it's just little silly stuff that it's just the bare metal that got rusted everything else is just great this is what happens when your car is in Florida 
even though they get rains and thunderstorms every day the difference is no salt it's the damn salt that eats everything I mean look at this is behind rear wheel that's where usually all the salt the junk kicks up kicks up look at the difference on this car not a speck of rust anywhere and then look at my freaking Crown Vic that was uh, FBI Boston FBI car and look at the difference this is what I can just break that off not nah, still holding on somehow I don't know but you can see this is a frame of the car here's the trunk of the car you know as you can see but yeah that's the difference everything the bumper look at the bumper here everything is corroded this car being uh, driven in northeast you know and this is a Florida car hey look at the uh, here the rack of panels I mean just I'm just going to along the rack of panels there's just not even it's still original coating on it and then you got this thing here hope you can see it this is all underneath the car here it's all original rubberized coating on it no rust anywhere for a car that's almost 30 years old what are you doing? Under the sign. Oh, okay. I'll make sure everyone sees it. <laughs> All right. Back to the Buick. Looking for rusty spots, but <laughs> I can't find any. Not nothing. Uh, this whole car was sprayed with a rubber. I'm the coating and, uh, and I can't find anything wrong I really cannot find a single rusty spot it's amazing nothing ah there's a little bit I don't know if you can see this or not but there's a little I don't even know if it, yeah, it's a little bit of a surface rust here on this little, just this corner. But man, just amazing. Nothing, there's no rust anywhere. Well, this is gonna rust because that's where I use my jack. See now the metal's exposed. I use my jack to lift it up to check the bearings, which are great, by the way. So, uh, yeah, it's just nothing. There's nothing for me to do here. Absolutely nothing. I'm going to check the brake lines, make sure, because I already kind of checked them, but just uh, just to make sure, yeah, they're all good. Look the, I don't know if you guys can see this or not, but you can see these brake lines. All the lines, everything, everything is rubber coated. Well, there's a little rust here. I'll treat that. Just basically by the uh, fuel filter. This is how Crown Vic is. See what I mean? <laughs> See, this is a frame here, and a frame on this car is absolutely solid. Here, I can show you from the. Uh... See, this is a. Uh... Hope you can see this. I don't have my flashlight here with me. I left it by the Buick. But this is a see rocket panels, and this is a frame. And what a difference! You know the frame is nice and solid, but these suckers here it's just uh, it's what you get. You kick it, and uh, I'm do some more kicking. <laughs> Look at this! This is my car. <laughs> Okay, I just lost 10 pounds. I better get uh, better MPG. 